Hello again. Um, this is a very short video, I hope, anyway. Um, if you watched the previous video, I explained to you the this section uh, in its entirety and how to make a form. It uh, turned out to be a little bit longer than I expected or would like to, uh, but that's purely because obviously you were being shown a new piece of software that, uh, or at least some of you, for you, uh, you'll find that it was new, uh, called Google Forms. Now, hopefully, uh, you've got the feedback back and you will see the answers in the response sections here. And what you need to do next is basically, there's not enough to just to do this because you need to then evidence it. So you need to go back to here and copy and paste. Yep, you need to copy and paste the questions, just the questions once and then the answers after each question. Okay, so then copy and paste the questions and answers in here. So it's a pretty easy task. Once you've done the legwork here, you copy and paste the answers and put it in here. And what you can do, for the ones who are aiming high, is start to respond to those feedback. So you can give a little bit of a paragraph after each one to say whether you agree, disagree, and why. And you're allowed to do either one. You can agree to all of them, you can disagree to all of them, you can do a mix and match and say, okay, I agree to these points, however, I disagree with these ones here. Here's the reason why. So the point here is, you need to have the evidence of the questions that you sent and their answers here. Now for the top end, uh, of the scale, the people who want to get the top marks, you're going to explain what kind of people respond to. So you're going to say, uh, I sent it to uh, 10 people, out of those 10 people, or 15 people, or 20 people, out of those people, uh, this many people were this this age, or this many people were men or women, this many people were uh, from a this kind, of this kind of background, were Asian, with a different language, um, um, this many people had, you know, a hearing need or a visual uh, uh, need, uh, and as a result, it makes my, my the feedback a lot more interesting because I found out from people who have these needs what they truly think, and as a result, this, this is what I'm going to do next. Okay, so here, copy and paste the questions, give me an explanation after each one whether you agree or disagree to some of those things, and explain what kind of people responded, okay? Now, if you didn't get many people to respond, for example, for those of you who are thinking of looking for shortcuts and only asking three students, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna to struggle to get the pass because what you're gonna prove is that you basically ask three students of the same age as you, yeah, 15 or 16 years old, that's it. Now, if you're lucky, maybe some of them may have some you you know, you know know accessibility needs, but you're not really given anything to really um, brag about. There's nothing there that's interesting enough and comprehensive enough for the examiner to be really wowed uh, by. So the more you have, the better it is. Now p keep in mind, all the legwork is being done by the person answering the questions because once they type in the answer, because they're typing, this is why I prefer this version rather than having printed off because if you had printed these questions off, then you would have had to retype everything. But once these people have responded to your questions, it's going to be here digitally. You just right click, copy and paste into here. So the legwork will be done for you. you all you have to do is think carefully about the questions you wanna, uh, that you want to make, that you want to uh, uh, say. So once you've done that, copy and paste, summarize each point, explain what you disagree to and why, what you agree to and why, who were the kinds of people who answered and responded and why that is useful.